Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is the director of the new feature film, Survive the Game, starring Chad Michael Murray and Bruce Willis. It's available in select theaters on Apple TV and everywhere you can rent movies on October 8th. Please welcome James Colin Bressack. Hey, Cash. Thank you so much for having me. James, my friend, it's so good to see you. How are you? I, it, I'm, I'm great. It's a, it's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. I'm, I'm happy to finally get on the show. We've been talking about it a while. I'm excited. Thank you so much for having me. Hey, thanks for being here. You're a great friend. I really admire uh, your passion. You really stand up for filmmakers. You've had your own unique journey that's very relatable. You've mentioned in the past how it was really just promoting uh, musical acts and growing up in the industry. I know your father wrote for uh, the Animaniacs, Emmy Award winner. My dad was in the music industry. He did music publishing. So I feel like we have that in common where we did, we had that unique way of growing up and we're around the industry. But I feel like I was a lot like you where I was just always focused on movies. Yeah, I was always focused on movies too. Like, you know, I, a teacher would give me a book report. I'd make a short film about why I didn't want to do a book report. But I think that's also, there's a flaw in the school system. I feel like we should figure out what people are good at and then train them and, and work towards that. Okay, if, if we were in high school together, we, you know, we're going to the new art. We're going to watch some good movies again. Yeah, that's movies. what I used to do. You had a marketing sense, club promotions, uh, yeah. DJing. And I mean, I was the same way too. I had, I had a group of friends who were in bands. I would videotape their shows or I'd edit them. And then I was also gotten to promotion. Then, you know, social media picked up right when I did my first feature film as well too, Jack and Cocaine. That's really when social media took off. You know, we got a good response. And your first feature film, you do it on a $7,000 budget. And it was my pure joy. And really you had a decision to make. It was like, really, you know, the day job was saying, you got to come to work. You're like, I'm doing my feature film. I'm following my dream. You get life tattooed on, uh, on your fingers Yeah. and you, and you never looked back. And that's, I never, I never looked back and, 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 and my pure joy, just for anybody, you know, watching this or listening, uh, that movie is terrible. Don't watch it. Just avoid my first movie. It's unwatchable. Um, but, it, but I've learned a lot of things from it. Luckily, I've been able to grow since then, but it's, you know, I learned everything not to do when making a movie. I've been there, but James, let's focus on the present now. I mean, you have this action adventure movie with Chad Michael Murray Bruce Willis. I just watched it last night. It's so much fun. And the amazing thing was, is all my friends are in this movie. I mean, like yeah. Swen Temple, I've known for years. He was actually one of the first guests we have on this show. I think he just wrapped it when we had him on and he was kind of talking about it. I'm literally, I'm yeah. texting with Sean Kanan last night about a film festival we got going on in about two months and then he pops up on the screen <laughs> christos andrews our mutual friend it just looked like a lot of fun to make it, it was a lot of fun obviously i had some great people involved christos such a good human such a such a talented actor he, i think he's great in the movie sean uh such a funny guy i think we get to see like a a really comedic side of him in this which i really love to, to to pull out sean was great uh sven is you know he's such a great dude and i think he's a total badass in this movie and i think you know it's a yeah i'm glad you brought those three up because those are three of like you know like the coolest nicest people i know like i, I was i was very blessed i, I know uh, in a lot of these interviews uh if, if anybody's following m multiple ones of these that i've been doing uh, in the off chance they they you know cared about it that much uh you know i keep talking about how nice people were but i mean i, I was just blessed like this this was one of the like the nicest least ego driven casts anybody could ever ask for everybody was so unbelievably you know giving with their time and and uh and, and just cared about making a good movie and, and i was blessed to have such wonderful individuals uh, on this movie uh everybody you mentioned uh as well as like you know everybody else who was not mentioned you know, zach ward i've been a huge fan of his I remember being a little kid and watching titus uh at night <laughs> he's just has such great range and this was a uh, a really yeah. good role for him as well yeah i really love how zach is just a chameleon man he can play so many different roles and he can do such a like you know he does we, we have him like look completely on like himself in this movie like you know he's got bleach blonde hair tattoos actually he has the life tattoo in it if anybody's looking um but like there's you know it's he's he's just so great in the role and he has a lot of fun he really goes for it and, and zach is like family to me man we've we we were writing partners at one point we were roommates like you know we've i've known zach for uh, like a decade uh we've done so many movies together we've we've run through the gamut before and uh many times and you know i i love that guy very much he's uh he's he's a very very talented actor and uh and just a, a great human um and I'm, I'm very excited for people to meet nikki uh, and see how 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 crazy and how much fun uh, we had making this one. Oh, it's amazing. You this was shot on location. Yeah, we shot in Puerto, in Puerto Rico. We shot on location in Puerto Rico, and uh, it's uh, you know Puerto Rico is a beautiful place. Uh, you know the 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 crew over there was fantastic. 
uh, we were we were welcomed like family. Uh, they were so nice to us over there, and uh, and and uh, you know I can't wait to go back. I, I loved everybody over there. I missed my Puerto Rican family. <laughs> you know, getting the script and then getting uh, Chad and Bruce involved. I mean, what was the whole process? The script was already uh, acquired before I was brought on, uh, and they you know had me read it and give them my take on it, and I, I let them know like you know what I thought and uh, and and what I thought we could do with it. And uh, luckily, they liked my ideas for it, and uh, and we you know we went from there. Um, and uh, luckily, like Bruce and Chad, uh, both had relationships with uh, Randall Emmett and George Furla, who were uh, the producers, and uh, they they brought Bruce and Chad on. And you know, again, I keep talking about niceness, but like you know, two two super nice people could not be more stoked on uh, on on having you know the cast that we had and and the people that I got to work with. Chad is is such a team player, and he he believe, he cares so much about going above and beyond um, <laughs> for the product. And for the movie and just really bringing um so much to elevate it uh he cares about the work and and uh and and then you have you know bruce who i mean bruce has you know decades of experience and and he just really knows how to throw in those one-liners that like really like light up the screen and uh some of the one-liners he has in the movie are ad-libs that he came up with and they're some of the best parts of the movie to be honest it's like you know he really he really brings it and i thought it was a lot of fun you also have another film coming out with bruce willis as well yeah, I have another film coming out called The Fortress that stars Bruce Willis and you guessed it, Chad Michael Murray uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, and uh, Jesse Metcalf. And then another one of my favorite human beings in the entire world, Shannon Doherty. I love Shannon. Uh, we've done a lot of movies together. Uh, we've, we've been friends for like nine years uh, and she's, she's, I, I know I keep saying the nice, I'm like, I sound like a broken record, but the nicest human being, um, uh, super talented, elevates everything, cares so much and, and, and is really dedicated to the movie. And she's like, you know, I, I, I can't, I, I can't imagine making movies without her. She she makes making movies fun. And, uh, and, you know, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, uh, maybe, maybe I keep saying the nicest because I'm just blessed to have the nicest people working with me. And uh, I, I'm, I'm very excited that uh, I get to work with such wonderful human beings. I love hearing that one of the first movies I features I did was with Shannon. Oh, called, awesome. Yeah. No, and this was about nine years ago as well. I didn't, we, uh, it was a movie called Undateable John. I got cast as Adam and there was literally, I'm driving, find out on, on the way that it's going to be Shannon. I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> It was really funny. It was this confrontational scene. Oh, my God. Oh, shit! Is this what you do when I'm out of town? No, babe. <laughs> this isn't happening. This isn't happening. I just saw you eating out this whore in my kitchen. I am not a whore. Who are you? All right, this is my house, and this was my fiancé. Fiancé? You told me this was your house for the last year. Wait, you've been sleeping with her for a year? Fuck you, bitch! Kind of comical uh, situation with Shannon, and she ends up uh, pulling a gun on me. Her character pulls a gun on me <laughs> and beats me up. And but again, I mean, I met her. She was the sweetest person on the planet, and literally, she's like at me, just about ready to kill me in this scene. And then the second they yell "cut," we just broke out laughing. I mean, she's really yeah. Happy. She loves to laugh. She's so she's so she's so silly. We had her on Facetime and and just uh, joke around for like hours. And then anytime she doesn't answer my FaceTime I'll make like a grumpy cat face and like got it and send it to her when it says like didn't answer the FaceTime she does the same thing back to me she'll send if I don't answer her FaceTime she'll do like a grumpy cat face and uh, and send it to me and I, I think it's just funny she's uh she's <laughs> she's a character man uh it's, not only is it amazing to like you know and, and I'm blessed to be able to make movies but it's 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 phenomenal to be able to make movies with your friends like wonderful people. I couldn't agree more. I think everything that I've done or I look at everything as a learning experience for you, it was like you tattooed life and you're like, you know, there's just no looking back. Yeah. And for me, it's just, I feel like there's just no, like there's no time for regrets. It's like, you know, what did I learn from this? What can I go on to the next adventure? And I feel like I too have been blessed the last couple of years. I've had some great, great experiences, worked on some great projects, but I do like the crew that I've been fortunate enough to work with now. And really, man, I really commend you just because you have stuck up for filmmakers and you give very encouraging information to people people you're no nonsense but the thing is you're very grateful you get the job done I mean not that's the thing I mean I know people who talk and they'll tell you what to do but I mean you're like living proof it's really impressed with uh, you and your career and your choices and I'm just really glad to have you on the show and I just oh, really thank you that. so much thank you so much uh you know I, I 
I, 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 you know, I'm such a film fan. <clears throat> I just, you know, and having been through the trenches so many times, anybody who's in this industry making movies and, and, and believing in themselves and, and continuing, uh, I'm a fan of. People that make it in this business are the people that don't give up. And I, I think, you know, just like I've, I've failed many times making movies, uh, but I just try to fail a little, a little less each time. Um, <laughs> we're making indie film. All of us indie people should be sticking together. I believe in the people that I've been blessed to work with. And I, I believe in the people that I know. And, and I, I, I hope to see everybody flourish and, and continue to make art. And uh, I'm just grateful that I've been given the opportunity to do so myself. I couldn't have said it better. James, I so appreciate your time today. Everyone, this is James Colin Bresek. You've got to check out his new film, Survive the Game. It's available in select theaters and on Apple TV. Everywhere you can rent movies on October 8th. It's available on Blu-ray and DVD on October 12th. James, continue this awesome career. I want to have you back. I'll be back for The Fortress. I'll be back. You got it. Come back for The Fortress. We'd love yeah. to have you, my friend, and keep rocking, brother. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for taking the time. You're, you're awesome. Thank you so much. You're awesome. Thank you so much for rocking out with me and James Colin Brissick today. You are on air with Cash.